Seed oils are absolutely not natural. They're not a food of nature. Seed oils are the single most processed food on the planet, bar none. Seeds, nuts, beans can only be made into an oil in a factory. It needs to go through so many industrial steps in order to create the oil. The actual process of making these oils heats them to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And then they must be deodorized at the end of that because the process of heating the oils to 500 degrees inevitably causes them to become rancid, oxidized, or rusted in the colloquial sense. So no one would eat seed oils. They would run from them if they smelled them before the deodorization process. From the beginning of the production, sale, distribution of vegetable oils, it was never about health. They promoted vegetable oils as healthy, but it was never about health. It was always about profit. There were so many things that all came together at the right times to create an atmosphere of belief in this hypothesis that animal fats and saturated animal fat were the enemy. Seed oils do lower your cholesterol and your total and your LDL cholesterol. In large clinical trials, the most rigorous kind of evidence on 76,000 people, lowering your LDL cholesterol by consuming seed oils has never been shown to have any benefit for death from heart disease or death from any cause. What we have in Western medicine is this propensity to look at all of the data together without looking at carefully how good every individual study is. When there are multiple studies on a topic and the results of those studies are conflicting, what we tend to do in Western medicine is zoom out when we should be zooming in to look at the quality of every individual study. Just to give you a sense of how early warning signs on seed oils were ignored, in 1956, there was a trial on corn oil by somebody named G.A. Rose. They fed 19 teaspoons of corn oil to subjects and they followed them for three years compared to a control group. At the end of two years, they stopped the experiment early because people having corn oil were dying at such higher rates. At the end of the experiment, the researchers wrote, we have to recognize that clinical trials are not always to the benefit of the patients and we cannot recommend vegetable oils to fight heart disease and they are possibly harmful. There should have been no experiments since then. There should, should have been game over for seed oils. In the early 1980s, when clinical trials, again, high level evidence began to show that feeding people seed oils caused cancer, especially colon cancer. This was in a dozen clinical trials this result came out. The National Institutes of Health had a series of very high-level meetings, including the top scientists of the day, trying to explain why were people dying from cancer from seed oil diets. I mean, they had a number of explanations, but nobody was satisfied by them. And ultimately, they decided, well, reducing cholesterol was just so important that they would just ignore the cancer results. And then there were other results in conferences that came out, you know, animal experiments showing uh, cirrhosis of the liver from seed oils. There were results about um, toxic oxidation products. What concerns me most is that this science is not unknown. It has just been silenced. <laughs>